Welcome back to Art Supply Insiders. My name is Jeff Morrow, and today we're talking with Bob and Katie Van Horn. Bob and Katie, uh, we've known for a while because uh, my business partner and I had a, had a had a business in the art industry, and they used to own uh, Bear With Us, a really popular distributor of art materials. And currently, uh, they've got what they call a Palooza. It's called the OKC Painting. Palooza. That's a, that's a mouthful. Bob and Katie, how are you? We're doing good, great, good. Jeff. How are you? Just great. So tell me a little bit about what the heck is a OKC painting Palooza? Well, it's a it's an art art convention. It's uh, it's something that got started. Actually, this will be our sixth year doing it. Wow. Uh, we got started. It was just a fluke thing. We were at a convention. And we, like you said, we, you know, were bare with us for 38 years before we happily retired. And we were talking to another exhibitor, Darla Foreman. It was kind of during a lull during a show and somebody was, you know, oh, this rule and that rule and you have to do this. And we said, why don't we just start our own show? And we knew that Larry Rowe had one time talked to us about starting a show. So Bob went and grabbed Larry and we had a quick little meeting and said, yes, you know, let's, let's have a show. What are we going to name it? And, that is how OKC Painty Palooza was born. And our official name is Borotu, with B-E-R-O-T-U, which the B-E is for Bear With Us. The oh. R-O is for Roll Publications. And the T-U is for Turtle Hollow, which was owned by Darla Foreman and Jeanette Ward is her partner. So there are six of us that own OKC Painty Palooza. We all know that these types of shows are kind of disappearing, but all of a sudden you guys are come in and you're doing it, and I think you're getting more and more people all the time to the show, correct? We are. We are. You know, of course, COVID put a, a dent in us for a year where we, we couldn't even have it. And um, But, yeah, it's it's very popular because people want to go to a show, and now there are only two shows left. Uh, there is OKC Penny Palooza and Net up in New England, so it's it's a you know unfortunately something that doesn't give a place for people you know there's there's no place for people to go and be with their teacher of the dreams and stuff like that. So we're trying to keep this going to have that opportunity. So let, let's let's start from the beginning a little bit. Tell us when when, when is this show? It is October 22nd through 29th this year. So it's a Saturday to Saturday. And we have classes from Saturday to Saturday. Uh, starting with that first Saturday night, the 22nd, it is a special event that Elizabeth Stoll and Sandy McTeer are going to be doing. And so people come, dinner's included. And then starting Sunday morning is our regular full class schedule from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And uh, then we have that through through the week. And then we have an exhibit hall that opens up Wednesday night. And it's also Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So it's a we are a full service convention. Boy, you are. And so if if our audience wants to find out more about this, where do they go to get details and information and all that kind of cool stuff? Our website is OKC Painting Palooza. Dot com. And spell Palooza, because the first time I tried spelling it, I spelled it wrong. Okay. P-A-L-O-O-Z-A. So that's O-K-C, painting, Palooza, dot com. That is correct. And when you say this is a show, is this a show for professionals? Is this a show for beginners what exactly happens at this show this is a show for everybody and the probably i guess the number one thing we wanted to incorporate into this was fun we are 100 percent about having fun at this we're not you know stodgy sticky rules you can't do this you can't do that unless it's really bad and <laughs> but it's just how can we put fun back in the industry we have acrylic painters, we have colored pencils, we have oil painters, we have the mud, you know, it's a technique being used. 
uh, just a huge variety and from beginner to the advanced. We have like um, the special event. We, we actually are having five special events. The first one is Saturday with Sandy and Elizabeth. You know, anybody can go. And also in that, you know, dinner is included. Then Monday night, we are having four special events. We have four teachers who are each doing, we have an oil class, a colored pencil class, a chalk class, and a acrylic, acrylic class. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and that, again, their dinner is included. It's, you know, it's all kind of a themed thing. And this year, our theme is patriotic. We figured we, we, we all need to be patriotic now. And well, we do. So uh, Monday, you know, we have that special event. But if you go to the website, everything is listed out, you know, spelled out to a T. If anybody has any questions at all, they are more than welcome to contact me. And uh, I'm happy to answer any questions, help anybody out. The, um, you know, the, one of the really fun things we have going on besides all the different painting classes, you know, we have that an auction, uh, a big dinner and an auction on Friday evening to kind of not end things on it, don't, because Saturday we still have exhibits and classes. But we have a big dinner that you come in, and it's a raffle and an auction. And mm. we get the most incredible donations from our artists, teachers, exhibitors. We, I know last year we had over 100 donations of raffles um, that you just I have a fabulous wall up in one of the halls. I just lay it all out. We do the old fashioned where you put the uh, take the bag underneath and you drop your ticket in. We sell the tickets. And um, so that's, you know, everybody has a shot at winning that. Then we normally pick five or six of what we call our really grand pieces for people that it is a live auction. And I mean, you want a painting from Cheryl Roll or Louise Jackson or Mark Plumchuk or Marco Aguiar, whatever, you know, we have some incredible donations. And so people bid on that. And all of this goes to our benefactor. benefactor. And each year we pick, pick a different benefactor. And this year it is Toby Keith's. OKC Kids Corral. And the fabulous thing about the people who attend this, they bring donations beforehand. We always put a big tub out. And like this year um, on the website, it does give a wish list for donations, things that people, you know, can bring and donate. And then again, all the proceeds from the Friday night party go to this fabulous um, charity. And so we, you know, it's always a huge success. It's, it's just so much fun. Tell me a little bit about the Toby Keith, uh, kids corral foundation. Um, who is Toby Keith and, and what does this foundation do? This is okay. So the okay kids corral, which is what it is for. It's a home away from home for pediatric cancer patients and their families while the children are undergoing treatment and fighting to win their battle with cancer. OK Kids Corral offers the warmth and security of home in a setting full of love and encouragement. The corral alleviates some of the financial, physical, and emotional toll of traveling to treatments and allows families to focus on the most important thing, getting their child well. Mm. So it's a, you know... Kids with cancer, just it, it, it's heartbreaking. It and is heartbreaking. To find, to find somebody, you know, like this that can help them out is, is a true blessing. And like one, you know, like I said, we put a wish list. It's in our catalog or on our website. Uh, things like gasoline gift cards or gift cards from Target or Walmart or Brahms. I love Brahms. Uh, Starbucks or Subway. Laundry detergent and dryer sheets. Just think about you're there with your child, you know, living there. You need to wash clothes, you know, the disinfecting wipes, cleaning supplies, paper plates, cutlery. The big, big thing we need to let everybody know, because a lot of times we get toys donated, because most of the time we do stuff for kids. They have to be brand new. 
because of the illnesses of the children, we cannot give used toys. So if anybody is going to buy toys, they have to be brand new. Got it. uh, Wow. And and Toby Keith, he's a uh, a country western singer, I I take it? Yes, he is. And uh, he, unfortunately, is actually battling stomach cancer right now. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's one of those sad things. It's like you think the good karma juju, but he's, you know, we pray and hope for his health, you know, that he can recover. Um, but, yeah, he's a he's a country singer, you know, in Oklahoma, and um, he's doing this amazing job with these this OK Kids Corral. So, so uh, for, for people that, and I'm sorry, so for people that can't attend, um, is it on this website if they want to send in donations uh, fr- from outside? It, it, they can get that information on your website? Uh, there is a, on the website, yes, there is their website, the tobykeithfoundation.org, that they could go to to actually donate directly that way. Wow, what what a wonderful thing, Bob and Katie. What a great thing that you're you're doing. Uh, thank you for doing stuff like that. Um, let's let's talk a little bit about. Now you said something about there are classes, so people. Uh, I'm assuming that there's a cost to go to this show. There is. There is. Uh, we we have a registration fee. It is ninety five dollars. Um, for the full week's registration. If you do it on site, you know, you show up and decide you want to do it, it is $110 on site. And we do have a partial registration that is $55, but that is for two consecutive days. And then we have 111 classes that you can sign up for, which include, you know, like I had stated, all the different mediums. Uh, we have teachers from five different countries. Uh, we have a lot of the big brushes, you know, that are coming and that are going to be teaching for us. And so, like I said, you know, if you look at the description and the thing, oh, I really want to do it, please check to see the level of painting. You know, I would not want to be that brand new beginner of colored pencil and I'm going into an advanced class, but I've never picked up a colored pencil before in my life. Mm-hmm. So look for the beginner, you know, and... That's really, you know, the advance, of course, can take the beginner. It's no big deal. Oh, I like that project. I want to do it. Maybe I'll learn something because I think you would learn regardless of how advanced you are. You can always pick up a little tip, hint, something. Uh, You make great friends. People just love it. And then we have we have a lunch break. Like say it's, you know, if you're in a longer class, a six hour, we do have a few eight hour classes. We have six hour. A lot of them are a lot of them are four hour classes. But the six and eight hour classes, the teacher offers a break. Uh, we do have lunches available for purchase ahead of time. The um, we've got this wonderful list, you know, of boxed lunch, you know, sandwiches, ham and cheese, turkey and cheese, chicken salad, uh, or you can actually get a lunch salad. Or this year we've got even new. We've got super chilly because sometimes in Oklahoma in October it's cold. Sometimes it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that is all available on the website for people to pre-purchase their lunches. Lunches serve from twelve to one. Uh, it's all in the the flo- the convention is on two floors. The main exhibit hall is on the first floor in a couple of the classrooms. Up an elevator or escalator is the second floor that has another exhibit hall and most of the classes. And lunch is served up there on the second floor, so they can just walk right outside of their classroom, go to the lunch pickup area, pick up their lunch. We have tables all over this huge mezzanine. They can sit down and enjoy their lunch. If it's a wonderful day, they can go outside on the patio and eat their lunch. So it's very, very user-friendly as far as that goes. And speaking of user-friendly, there is free Wi-Fi in the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Um, so the $95, does that include all of the classes that you can take? No, that just gets you the ability to buy the classes. And then each class is priced separately. So... And how many different teachers do you have? 
We have 47 teachers. Oh, my goodness. Really? Yeah. 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 So we have a huge variety. It's, 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 it's outstanding, the teachers who have, have, you know, everybody's doing Zoom. And so it's so nice those who are, can come and can have the individual one-on-one or meet their dream teacher or, you know, just, just have that face-to-face again. You know, a lot of people really, really miss that. It's not, and in, and it's not just lectures, is it? They actually get to paint on surfaces and get individual instruction and group instruction, all of that kind of stuff, right? That is correct. You you walk in when you are looking on the website at the project you want to take. It will tell you what it is painted on, whether it be canvas, whether it be a wooden bowl, whether it be you know, a crocheted bowl, you know, we have all different surfaces and they will actually paint that project. The teacher will paint and teach along with it. Granted, some people don't get their project done just depending on their speed of the painting, but they will receive a pattern packet from the teacher that they can go home that has all the instructions, your colors that you needed, if you know, uh, the brushes you need, everything you need to finish your project. You can take that home then, and you have all the means to do to finish it up for it yourself. Does our audience have to bring their own tools, their own brushes, palette knives, paints? Yes, yes, they have to bring. And each class lists, you're looking at a certain class, and it will list what brushes you need to bring, you know, special brushes and supplies. Number four, number six, number eight, filbert, a large dry brush, an oval wash, or certain angle brushes. Um, It's everyone is listed. You are responsible for your own supplies. Now, some teachers sell, if it's a specialized brush, they will sell that brush in class. Uh, A lot of times, you know, you sign up for the class. Gosh, I don't have this. You can, you know, email the teacher, ask, and he or she will tell you, Either, A, you need to go, you know, and purchase that particular brush or whatever tool it is, or, oh, I will have that for sale. Colored pencil classes are real big. <clears throat> and when you look at the, the class in the catalog, it'll tell you what color pencils you need to bring with you to do that particular project. Wow. Now, let's just say that... Um... They get on the airplane, they get into Oklahoma, and they went, oh, my gosh, I forgot to bring my brushes. Uh, You said something about uh, an exhibitor hall. Are there people there that can sell product? Yes, there is. We have 37 exhibitors um, that go from anywhere to surfaces to brushes to paints to, you know, a lot of the artists with their own pattern packets. So you get there, oh my gosh, I need such and such brush or whatever. And if the exhibit hall is not open, that's one thing where we're very user friendly. You know, we, we know everybody very well. So we can just, you know, pick up, you know, we have their cell phone numbers. We call them and say, oh, so-and-so is going to a class and she needs, you know, a number four angle, you know, can you come down and sell it to her? Because, most of the exhibitors are getting moved in. They have an idea of where to find, you know, their stuff. And most of them are very accommodating to help somebody out. And the e- exhibitors, um, they, I'm, I'm sure they offer some special deals and stuff like that. And, and uh, before, I, before that is, does the $95 include entrance into the exhibitor hall to see all these manufacturers? Or is there a separate cost for that? There is no fee to get into the exhibitor hall. Everybody is welcome to come. So even if you're not coming to take classes, you just want to come shop. You're tired of online shopping. You want to come and see what's new or, like you said, what kind of deals are out there. Uh, that's that's the time to come. You, can, you know, we, we have quite a few people that do that. They drive in and um, look at the, you know, want to go looking at the, what's available out there and, and pick it up because they can see it, touch it, feel it <laughs> and not, yeah. do, not, and not pay for shipping. So. 
Well, now, now speaking of shipping, I know that um, you go there, let's say you take three, maybe four classes, and you've got three or four pieces of art you've got to get back home. Is there an, do you have provide an easy way for them to get that stuff back home, or are they just kind of on their own? One of our exhibitors does a shipping home service. So uh, Ronnie Marks is her name, and so you can take your stuff to her, whatever you want shipped home. And she packages it up and tells you how much it's going to be to ship. You pay that, and then, you know, you fly home or whatever. And by the time you get home or within a few days, your package should be there in the mail. That's great. Now, a a little bird told me that you have some wonderfully themed nights. And a lot of the exhibitors and some of the participants come dressed up and that kind of stuff. Does, does that really happen? It really does happen. Our, uh, we have a theme every year, you know, it's been Christmas, Halloween, uh, all different. This year it's patriotic. And it's what happens is every week, nobody has to, nobody has to dress up, but if you want, uh, especially Wednesday night for opening night of the convention hall from 6.30 to 8.30. In the exhibit halls. Yeah, in the exhibit halls, you dress up in your best patriotic. All the exhibitors then have a voting ballot. And as you come through, it's best to, you know, if you're, if you're really working to win this, make sure you leave your name with the exhibitor. Bribing of candy is highly, highly encouraged. <laughs> Uh, what exhibitor does not love candy? And so the best costume deemed by the exhibitors at the end of the evening at 8.30 Wednesday evening, the opening night of exhibit hall, they win free registration for the next year. And wow. which is a huge prize. And also reversing that the exhibitors are encouraged to decorate their booths. And the participants, the shoppers, vote on the best exhibitor booth. And we have had some amazing booths decorated. And they win a discount off of their booth for next year, the winner. So it's we have a lot of fun. It sounds like a lot of fun. I, I've actually seen some pictures in... Did one year, I might be out of my mind, but one year did you have like a pajama party or something like that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we've we've had pajama parties. It's everybody wearing their pajamas around. <laughs> it just it it just it is a lot of fun. The, you know, we just try to come up with themes that people can, and a lot of people take this to heart. They they go all out. So I cannot wait to see this year's costumes because I know they're going to be fabulous. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to see either Dave or I in uh, pajamas. That's just not a pretty sight at all. <laughs> oh, we had some great. Wow, oh, there, there was it was fabulous. It really was. So give us the um, give us the w- website again where they can get uh, all the information. OKC Painting P A I N T I N G Palooza. P-A-L-O-O-Z-A dot com. And is there anything I've forgotten to ask you about this incredible event? Well, there's there's nothing you have forgotten to ask about, but I do want to bring up another one fun thing that we do Monday through Friday at the convention. Say you've taken class Mondays and Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm just going to kind of rest, but gosh, I'm kind of bored. What am I going to do? We offer 90-minute make-it-take-its Monday through Friday, which is we have a a setup, you know, in our lobby area. You buy a ticket at the registration desk. We have all the pieces On on display for you to choose. We have teachers like Karen Brower and Deb Bonnewell and Rosemary West and Linda O'Connell um, Kathy Baldwin, Shannon Miller, Marlene Fudge, Cheryl King, Erica Joanne, they do a 90-minute make it take it, which you will go, you'll bring your little painting tote, and on the time designated, and you'll sit, and they will have a little project that you can complete in the 90-minute time, and it costs $17. So it's just a really neat little, 
you get your painting in, but you're not in a four hour or six hour class. You just got your 90 minute time and just something fun to do to fill the time that you don't want to be in a structured class. Or say that you're a shopper, but you, you know, you have a job, you really can't take the week off to come to the, the whole convention, but you just want to come shop. Maybe you'll stop and take one of the make it take it's get the feel for classes. So maybe you'll come next year and see what it's all about. Wow. So literally you can go there just to look at the exhibit hall or the manufacturers and the products they're selling and sit down for 90 minutes and walk away with a little piece of art or craft. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. From some really good teachers, you know, not not just doing, you know, the little free little thing that you do at the fairground type thing. These are some nice pieces that these these teachers are doing. Yeah, I've seen the list of uh, instructors and teachers there, and you've got some real world class, quite frankly, uh, artists and and uh, crafters that uh, teach you everything from oil painting to acrylic to watercolor to collage to colored pencil, uh, and the list goes on, right? Yes, yeah. Fabric painting, wood painting, canvas painting. Uh, it's just, it is, it is, you know, I cannot imagine that anybody can look at the catalog of items we have and go, mm, there's nothing there I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it seems to me that if you're trying to get into a new genre and you just don't know where to start and, you know, a lot of people go to YouTube and they, they try to learn there. But this is with the teacher themselves. They can go in there and not know a darn thing. But by the end of the day, they'll really have a pretty good idea of what to do. That's right. As long as it yeah, get into one of the beginner classes, the teacher will teach you how to do that medium and yeah then you can decide mm, i love it oh maybe that one's not quite for me so um yeah it's it's a perfect way to do it wow well again this is just one of two basically consumer shows that we have left in our industry and to our audience out there if you have any interest in learning a whole bunch of different ways to create art and or craft, you really need to go to the okcpaintingpalooza.com and check it out. Um, tell the dates again. October 22nd through 29th this year. It is held at the, it, it's held at the Sheraton Reed Center in Midwest City, Oklahoma, which is a suburb of OK, OK. Oklahoma City. <laughs> That's a, nice a mouthful. Central, nice central location in the middle of the country, so everybody can come from everywhere. And I would assume people should uh, check it out, and if they're going to go, sign up as quickly as possible, because I guess it is possible that you could run out of spaces. Do you? Can you have too many people? Well, we we have a few classes that have already sold out. So that is, and also the hotel, our host hotel, we have sold out of the rooms, but the beauty of the location, there is one central parking lot and a whole circle of hotels around it. So there's um, a Hampton Inn, a La Quinta, a Home 2 that you can get a hotel to stay at, and all you're doing is walking across the parking lot. So it's not like you're, oh, I got to get in the car and go somewhere. You are just, you are right there. Well, Bob and Katie, thank you so much for being on the show. And thank you for, for having this Palooza event because, I mean, years ago, we had a whole bunch of these things <laughs> for our audience out there and they're just not around much anymore. So thank you again for being on the show. Oh, well, thank you so much for helping us promote this because this is a, it's, it's a fabulous opportunity and thank you very much. It's our pleasure. You've been listening to the Art Supply Insiders. Check back with us often as we talk about the world of art and craft supplies. If you'd like to hear more of these podcasts, please hit the subscribe button and we would appreciate it if you would tell a friend. 
If you'd like to show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com forward slash Art Supply Insiders. Now go out and create something.